Hello and welcome back once again to the channel. You know, I was wondering today about reading and annotating PDFs and that's when I got the idea to make this video for you. I'm going to show you how to do this today using the PDF element software. It's incredible for reading PDFs and annotating them. Before we get in any further, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future PDF element tip videos. Let's start off with how to read PDF using PDF element efficiently. There are multiple reading modes available in PDF element that will allow you to read a PDF document the way you want. No more do you have to deal with hard blue light on your eyes because PDF element comes with an eye protection mode to keep your eyes safe. If a text is quite heavy it remains visible on your screen even when using dark mode. Moreover it's important because your eyes will no longer hurt when you wake up in the morning. It will transform the background color to a gray. Different from day mode, dark mode also known as light mode is the default mode that shows up when you first open a PDF. It keeps the reading background unchanged. Now the next thing I'd like to introduce you is parchment. This feature switches the background color to a light brown and it's really useful when working in environment with really bright lighting. The system uses more vibrancy in dark mode to make that foreground content stand out against the dark background. You can easily switch between the light mode and the dark mode by clicking on view and then on the background button. PDF element allows you to organize and customize comments, text, images, and watermarks without breaking your workflow during your read. Not just this, viewing and interacting with multiple PDFs in a single window can become confusing, even for seasoned professionals. But there's a better way to approach this functionality using the PDF PDF element multi view option. You just have to click the plus button on the top to open a new PDF file. With the magnifying glass functionality at your disposal, you can read your PDF files even with the zoom options. You can click the zoom out or zoom in icon directly. The second way is to hold down the control button and then tap plus or minus. The third way is to hold down the control button and scroll your mouse. Opening any PDF file is very easy. You can either drag them onto PDF element or use the home interface. Now just click on the view tab on the toolbar and you can rotate the view, change the reading mode to full screen, vertically separate the PDFs and so on. Now let's get into how to annotate PDFs using PDF element efficiently. The next thing I want to get into is annotating PDFs. When using PDF element, this process is very simple because it's such a powerful tool. With this application, you can mark up, highlight and make changes to your PDF documents and then share them with others. It also allows you to annotate PDFs as you please. You can do all of this in the easy to use interface to save your time and get back to what really matters. PDF element offers some popular comment types for adding notes and aids you in editing PDFs. Let's check these out. If any PDF files require editing or you just want to replace the faulty text, editors can add notes by right clicking anywhere on the PDF element screen. After that, choose the add note button and drag the cursor to the point where you feel the need for edits. The pencil tool can be used while taking classes and sharing screens with students. It's also very helpful when you want to bring the focus of the editor to a particular word. If there's any missing text in a PDF file, draw a text box and add it without needing the assistance of an editor. Below the toolbar, click on the add text icon, which appears as the letter T enclosed in a circle. You can then add or customize the text in a text box. If you wish to highlight some specific spot in the PDF page, the text callout option would work best for you. It's present right beside the text box icon. Now let's explore the step-by-step -step tutorial. Begin with downloading and installing PDF element on your PC. Next, launch it and click on the open PDF option on the homepage. Then navigate through your PC to locate the PDF you wish to open. Please note you can also drag and drop your PDF file into the PDF element interface to open the PDF directly. Once you have your PDF opened, you can now go to the comment tab on top and select the kind of annotation that you need to use. Then make the comments or edits that you need to mention. Lastly, when you're satisfied with your annotations, simply click the file and then hit the save as button that appears on the drop down menu. Now, when can you use PDF annotators? Now in this part of the video, I've enlisted a few different scenarios where you may find yourself in need of annotating a PDF document. The first is going to be in filling out a form or agreement. If you struggle with filling out forms, agreements, or other documents, this won't be a problem for you if you have PDF element installed on your device. It provides you with multiple options to edit your forms and prepare agreements faster. The second would be leaving a comment on a lengthy document. For editors that might want to make some corrections in a PDF file, they can use the PDF annotations tool to add comments and improve the readability for other readers. The third might be to proofread and review documents. Even for proofreading and carefully checking documents, PDF annotators 
just work like magic. It aids in pointing out errors and getting them corrected in no time, as all these files can be accessed remotely. The fourth is going to be drawing on the pages. Are you missing out an element on the page? Well, you can draw it on your own with the powerful PDF annotator. A fifth is going to be grading student papers anywhere on any device. No matter where you are with any device, just install PDF element and grade your students' papers at your convenience. Our sixth is to vividly illustrate your ideas and suggestions. PDFs aren't only the collection of information, it can also be used very intelligently for illustrating ideas and recommending suggestions to make them better. Unsurprisingly, given the title of this video, there seem to be a variety of ways to accomplish any of your goals. Whether you're involved in litigation and need to annotate multiple documents, or you're simply trying to organize your research and personal life, it's always worth knowing how to perform these basic functions. In all of these use cases, PDF Element will come in as a massive support for you. It delivers an unparalleled experience in reading, annotating, and editing your PDFs. If you'd like to know more or you want us to cover a particular technique or app, please drop a comment below this video and we'll be sure to answer them in future videos. See you next time.